Hello, I'm David Chester with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week in everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With news, there is a retreat to safety underway around the world. But first in the US, productivity picked up modestly in the second quarter, but showed little sign of breaking out of its sluggish track has been in for more than a decade. Low productivity growth holds back economic growth and living standards. Currently, markets are unsettled in choosing risk-averse strategies after President Donald Trump's fire and fury warning to North Korea, which has escalated tensions on the peninsula. Tensions are also rising with friends and neighbours. A White House proposal from Mexico and Canada to vastly raise the value of online purchases that can be imported duty-free from stores like Amazon is emerging as a flashpoint in an upcoming renegotiation of the NAFTA trade deal. Meanwhile in Canada, new house construction is booming and on pace for its best year since 2008-2009 recession. Rising interest rates there show no sign of slowing things down, nor are fears of a housing correction. In Britain, one bank is reporting a sharp rise in demand for its foreign currency accounts by its customers. That demand was up 23% in June alone. In Australia, despite rising business confidence, consumer confidence has turned further negative. The latest Westpac Melbourne Institute survey of consumer sentiment had its index come in at 95.5, which is five and a half points lower than for August last year. Pessimists now outnumber optimists, and that is its lowest level since April 2016. In New York, the US Treasury 10-year yield is lower today at 2.24%. Conversely, risk premiums have reacted to the rise in the Korean tensions, rising sharply today. The price of oil is basically unchanged, still at just under 49.50 a barrel, while Brent benchmark is just on 52.50 a barrel. But the price of gold has jumped $21 on the fire brand boasting talk out of the White House to $1,275 an ounce. That is its biggest one-day jump in over three months. But the Kiwi dollar will start today basically unchanged at 73.3 euro cents. On the cross rates, we're at 93 Aussie cents and 62.2 euro cents. As a result, the TWI index is still at 75.9. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.